Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Elena's Bar Low Impact Full Body Workouts. Today, we are going to talk about the importance of having a good relationship with your father, or if you don't have a father, having a good relationship with the father figure, or just having a dominant masculine presence in your life. How about that, right? Uh, I know that guys in the Red Pill community are talking about the importance of a father or a father figure for men and both for women. I would love to add on to this topic from my female uh, standpoint, if you don't mind, guys. And if men are watching it, it's totally fine. You are welcome to leave your comments and uh, you're welcome to share your observations with us. But this video is going to be mostly for women, okay? So I've prepared a few notes here just to stay on track and not forget anything. I'm going to glance at them periodically. And I, I have a few questions for women. Ladies, tell me, what's your relationship like with your father? Do you love, respect, and appreciate your father? Do you follow his advice? Do you seek his guidance? I'm asking you all of these questions because if you don't respect, love, and appreciate your father, and remember, your father is the first man you encounter in your life, you are not going to love, respect, appreciate, and listen to your husband. <laughs> the dynamics with your father will be replicated in your later relationships with men. Your father is the only man who doesn't view you as a sexual object. He cares for you, he wants you to succeed, he wants you to be settled down, and he wants you to be taken care of. And if he's allowed in your family to express himself, because in most cases, <laughs> mothers are presiding and dads are not even allowed to express what they are thinking about certain topics. So if he is allowed to behave in a masculine way, <laughs> He can teach you the truth, he can teach you humility, self-discipline, uh, how to be accountable for your own stupid decisions, how to regulate your emotions, how to be a critical thinker, how not to be entitled, narcissistic, delusional whore who constantly relies on her emotions and feelings and uncontrolled hypogamy. If your father is allowed to perform his fatherly duties <laughs> and if he does his job well, he will also teach you how to provide objective value to other people, in particular your husband, who will be taking care of you and your kids in the future. Your father can help you become a better wife. And he can also vet your future husband so that you don't end up in some stupid situation that you will regret later on. Your father will also set higher standards for you. That the man that you want, ladies, will set similar standards. Right? Makes sense. If you are being raised by a dominant mother, even if your father is around but he is not allowed to express himself, or if you are being raised by a single mother, you are going to lack self-discipline, humility, accountability, and critical thinking. You will live in the present moment, only thinking about now. Your feelings, your emotions will rule your life. You are not going to think about the future. Due to the lack of wisdom and self-control, you will probably engage with the fuckboys who will use you for recreational purposes only. So you will become a whore. We are lucky to have a few father figures in the Red Pill community and ladies, if you can't reconnect with your father, which I highly recommend you to do, and a lot of fathers today, they are very humble, they are very tactful, they 
don't want to impose their views on you. This is why if you want their guidance, you should be asking for it. You should be inquiring for their feedback. Because fathers, they learn the hard way that if they are too expressive, they are called misogynists, or uh, they are risking of losing your mother, you, access to their kids, right? And half of what they own. So they are usually pretty quiet. It doesn't mean that they are bad people. It doesn't mean that um, they are uh, not masculine. It's just they're not allowed to express their masculinity in the family. So if you have a father, I highly recommend you to reconnect with him. Find out what happened if your parents are divorced. Listen to his side of the story so that you can have a better picture about life and about what really happened there. If you, for some reason, can't find your father, you can't reconnect with him, I recommend you to follow the father figures in the manosphere. And we are lucky to have a few men, old wise men who can help you, who can guide you, uh, such as Api Thor, read his book, A Dominant Masculine Presence, ask him your questions about the book, and then we can always talk about this book because I, I, I know this book, I've read it. And um, you can also follow George Bruno, his YouTube channel, Listen My Son. Even though George makes most of his content for men, women can learn a lot from George and his wisdom and experience. And then, of course, we are happy to have Steve Sandman on our Saturday's shows. Steve is a great resource for both men and women. He really wants to help men and women be make better decisions in their lives. And uh, if you have questions, you are always welcome to join us on Saturdays. Ladies, it's time to listen and learn from old wise men. Okay, come join us. Um, if you find value from this video, please like it, share it with your friends or somebody who might benefit from this information, somebody who needs to hear it. Uh, join us for other activities, uh, join me for the fitness classes so that you stay fit and healthy and um, join me for my crazy piano practice on Sundays. Uh, you can check more fitness classes on Elena at Elena's Bar Patreon with a link in the description box. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Elena's Bar. I occasionally post funny stories and reels there and the updates. And uh, what else? That's pretty much everything I wanted to tell you. Oh, yes, uh, guys, on the resurgence of sanity, uh, we have Steve Sandman, Nick from Christianity Unplugged, and Plutarch H, my husband. They are talking about very interesting topics. So if you are curious, go subscribe and support the channel, okay? I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your kind support. Take care, everyone. Bye.